Hey, what is up guys? It is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy. Back, 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 back again with another video. Happy Friday to everyone. I hope you guys are going to have a great weekend, great kickoff to the weekend watching my video here. And today we're doing a 18 PPR draft as you can see in the title above up here. And uh, pretty much the roster is one quarterback, two running backs, two receivers, tight end, flex, kicker, defense, five bench spots. And we are going to be picking at the sixth pick now before i begin the draft i would like to tell you guys something uh please also uh hit the subscribe button down below also like the video and click that notification bell but besides that in an eight team league you're going to want to get a good tight end because the tight end position is not very deep and in an eight team league you're going to get a huge advantage when a guy like travis kelsey does good or a guy like zach ertz or george kittle that's a big positional difference when in comparison to where a lot of the running backs and receivers are going to be similar on each team because every team is so good because it is an eight team draft. Now we're going to begin here. Begin the draft. The first pick, as always, seems to be Saquon Barkley. So Saquon, Christian McCaffrey, DeAndre Hopkins, Alvin Kamara, Melvin Gordon. This means Zeke fell so far that we're going to have to draft Zeke here. Normally Zeke is not here. Or to go Zeke. Okay. After uh, DeAndre Hopkins, or after I pick Zeke, David Johnson, Devontae Adams, Le'Veon Bell, Michael Thomas go off the board. Now, like I said, we want that top tight end. So we're picking right here. We're going to pick Travis Kelsey. After we pick that big tight end, you want to do that strictly because of the positional advantage like I said and it will make it you'll you'll notice quickly that your tight end is a lot better than every other tight end so after we and same thing goes with quarterback if you have a great quarterback like Patrick Mahomes he is so much better than the quarterback below him you uh, on a given week usually that he can be able to carry he would be able to carry you so after Kelsey Mixon Julio Juju James Conner Todd Gurley Todd Gurley if you guys have noticed has been falling falling down yelling timber because you, you don't want him he has arthritis of the knee he ain't doing too hot you don't want him todd Gurley, dalvin cook odell beckham antonio brown michael thomas damian williams and now it's our pick we already got our tight end so we're on all here you see chubb Thielen, hilton freeman keenan allen zach Ertz. now usually i like to go three running backs there are two running backs in the first three rounds. But right here, I'm not seeing very much value. I don't want Chubb. He's on the watch list from a year ago. Don't want Freeman. Uh, I guess I'll go Fournette or Mac here. Fournette or Mac are the only two guys I'd really want here. So we're going to go... Uh, what are the receivers? The receivers available are Thielen. Okay. All right. I think we're going to go safer here and go with the stud receiver. And that stud receiver is going to be... Uh, I like all these guys except for A.J. Green. I would not draft A.J. Green. I've said that countless times. I'm going to go Keenan Allen. Because I haven't picked him. That's why I'm going to go Keenan Allen. All right, after Keenan Allen, Devontae Freeman, Nick Chubb, Adam Thielen, T.Y. Hilton. And then it's my pick. So we need another running back. And that running back is going to be... Marlon Mack. That's mainly why I also didn't go T.Y. Hilton, because you don't want a running back and receiver usually on the same team. So we're going to go Marlon Mack here. He's the, the best pick here. You want certified good running backs, and maybe, hopefully, carry on falls to us. So we just got to pray. We pick Marlon Mack, Kittle, Ertz. See, they all go right next to each other. But if we were to have waited, I guarantee you he would have been picked there. So after we pick Marlon Mack, Kittle, Zach Ertz, Patty Mahomes, like I said, in 18 leagues, quarterbacks are more important. Aaron Jones, Amari Cooper, Josh Jacobs, Leonard Fournette, A.J. Green, Stephen Diggs, Julian Edelman. Carry on falls right to us. Carry on is running back I really like this year. I think he can be a top 10 back, top 5 back certain weeks. And I think he, he'll be like one of those guys that you're sitting there after the draft and you're like, damn, who who was the, the best pick in the draft after your You've won the championship. You're like, oh, it was on Johnson who I picked in the fifth round, or in the third, usually the third round, but the fifth round of an eighteen league. I'm gonna go carry on. After we pick carry on, Brandon Cooks, Robert Woods, Philip Lindsay, Cooper Cup go off the board. Oh, did not mean to do that. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
Our team right now is Zeke, Marilyn Mack, Kenyon, Keenan Allen, Travis Kelsey, and Carrion Johnson. Looking pretty solid so far. But every team in an A-team league is going to look solid on paper. Remember that. It's very hard to d differentiate yourself from other teams. That's why I suggest picking a tight end early, like I said. So, now we're going to need another receiver because we already have three running backs. So, we're going to want guys like Galladay, Ridley. Oh, they got Boyd so far down here. Galladay or Ridley. I'm going to go Galladay because I pick. No, no, no. I'm not going to go. Go Galladay because I would have just completely scratched what I said earlier about drafting a receiver and a running back on the same team. So we're going to go Ridley. I think Ridley's going to have quite the good season. Maybe not as good as last season, but probably pretty good. So Ridley, after I've picked Ridley, Aaron Rodgers is selected, Derek Henry is selected, David Montgomery, Sony Michelle, Kenny Galladay, Andrew Luck, Chris Carson, Mark Ingram, Deshaun Watson. See, as you see, four quarterbacks I've already been picked. But I don't really want to reach on a quarterback here when I think I can just wait. So at this point, once you have your whole starting lineup and you want more running backs, running backs win leagues, all right? Your star set of running back is going to win you the league. So what I think we can do here is do do a bit of, of cheese here. We're going to hope that Daryl Henderson falls to us. And we're going to go carry on Kenyon Drake, who I don't necessarily, I don't love him. I don't hate him. Kind of in the middle on him. I like him. More than guys like James White, Cohen, Sanders. So we're going to go him. After Kenyon was selected, Darius Geis, Watkins, White, Chris Godwin. And now it's our pick. And my boy Henderson has fallen to us. I like Henderson a lot because I do not like Gurley. And if you're going to draft Gurley, I'm telling you right now, you need to draft Henderson. And if that idiot that drafted Gurley doesn't draft Henderson, you draft Henderson. So, you draft Henderson right here. After Henderson goes Tariq Cohen, Alshon Jeffrey, OJ Howard, Hunter Henry, Tyreek Hill, Mike Williams, Juice Landry, Tyler Boyd, someone who I liked, TJ or DJ Moore, Tevin Coleman. Now it's our pick. And now we need more receivers because we already have one, two, three, four, five running backs. And we only have three bench spots left. So, we're going to be looking for big Big boom guys here. Boom goes the dynamite here. And that boom goes the dynamite guy for me is Will Fuller. Right. Will Fuller, not very safe. Pretty risky. But when he's not hurt, he plays like a god. You can see the last two years putting up great numbers every single week. And a lot of people forget about how, how good he does when he's not hurt. So we're to go Will Fuller. Lock that one in. After I selected Fuller, Breeze, Baker, Breeze, Baker, Miles Sanders, and Cooker off the board. So, one, two, three, four. The red are quarterbacks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of eight teams already have a quarterback. So, now we're looking, now we're looking for either, we don't need a quarterback. We're going to wait, and we're going to go, uh, we're going to go receiver again. Because I don't want to miss out on this guy, Robbie Anderson. I like Robbie Anderson a lot. I think Darnold is going to get better this year, and I think he'll be more. Robbie Anderson will be more open now that Le'Veon Bell is a target. So I really like him, and I would pick him. I would suggest picking him in your draft. He's a great late round pick, and I think he's going to go further up the draft boards as this uh, preseason pro as the preseason starts and as actually draft season. Same thing with Nikhil Harry. I think based upon preseason, you're going to really know what you got in him. But we're going to go Robbie Anderson. After Robbie Anderson, Kareem Hunt, Dante Pettis, Mikhail Hardman, Matt Ryan, Eric Ebron, Nikhil Harry, Allen Robinson, Lamar Miller, Rashad Penny, and Geronimo Allison. And now to finish off the lineup, you always want more running backs than receivers. And we got one, two, three, four, f five. We got five. One, two, three, four, five running backs. Four receivers. So we want one more running back. And that running back is going to be. Lamar, or not Lamar, what am I saying? Latavius Murray. I think Latavius Murray is going to be in that, like I say in every single video, he's going to be in that role of the Mark Ingram role last year. I think he's pretty safe, and I think that he's going to vulture touchdowns from uh, Kamara, and I think that you're going to have, he's, he's a good bench player because you don't need him every week, but he's going to vulture some touchdowns. So there we go. Latavius Murray, Ronald Jones, Evan Ingram, 
McKinnon, Golden Tate. So now, now our whole bench is filled up. So we need, we need a quarterback. And we're looking at Russell Wilson, Carson Wentz, Kyler Murray, Jared Goff, Cam Newton, Famous Jameis, Philip Rivers, Big Ben. Now, we're, we're right here. I'm going to cancel a few guys out. I'm not picking Cam, and I'm certainly not picking Carson Wentz. Now, I'm not picking Carson Wentz because I, even though he got all that money, I don't believe he's really that good, and I think he's very prone to injury. And Cam Newton is injured now, so I don't think that that is a good look. Usually, Russell Wilson isn't available. Usually, guy Russell Wilson's picked ahead of guys like Matt Ryan. But we're going to go Russell Wilson. He runs, and that's a big advantage. Any guy that runs is going to put an advantage over you if you're in a four-point quarterback touchdown league because you're getting six points for the rushing touchdown instead of four for the passing touchdown. So guys like Drew Brees or uh, Drew Brees, Brady, uh, Big Ben, guys who don't really run Kirk, are gonna, you're going to have a huge advantage over those guys. So that's why I always advise a picking a rushing quarterback in four-point quarterback touchdown, passing touchdown leagues. So we're going to go Russell Wilson. And while Russell Wilson's weapons are not as strong as last year, DK Metcalf could be a deep threat that I think he could utilize pretty well, even though I don't really, I wouldn't suggest picking DK Metcalf in your fantasy league unless you you go for the big uh, high upside guys, because he does have high upside. Uh, Christian Kirk selected directly after Russell Wilson. Jordan Howard, Chicago defense, first defense off the board. Now, in your normal league, if you're, people are going to be picking your this Chicago defense, you'll see so, someone pick him in the fifth round, and you're going to look at this guy like he has nine heads, like he's a fucking idiot, certified idiot. But you're not going to be that person because you listen to this video, and you're going to keep listening to these videos, and you're going to subscribe to this channel, and you're going to like this video, and you're going to uh, fucking click on my Twitter and follow that shit too. But you're not picking a defense before the last round. This guy's an idiot. The last two rounds, you want a defense and a kicker. So now we're here. People are picking kickers. People are picking defenses. You usually want to pick your defense first before your kicker. But in this situation, we're gonna go the best kicker, which is we always pick Greg as our line. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go Lutz. Differentiate, and then we when we come around for defense. What you're gonna do for defense is listen here and always remember this. For defense, you always want someone who is the who. In the first three weeks of the season, count that, one, two, three weeks of the season has the easiest schedule. And if that doesn't work, you see someone who's playing two two easy games, the one hard game, what you do is you drop them when they have to play that hard game. You don't need to hold multiple defenses on your team. You don't need multiple kickers. You don't even need multiple quarterbacks. And you're going to pick that defense that you see have a solid upside the first three weeks, even the first two weeks or the first week, because like I said, you can always stream. And there's going to be guys coming out with videos, articles to read on that. You can look at the stats. But the like I'm saying about the three-week thing at the beginning, you're going to want to bring a schedule to your draft. So every team's schedule, or you can pull it up on your laptop, your phone, whatever. And... You have to analyze that, look at every team, and then differentiate uh, defense based on that. So I'm going to lock in with any de- any defense here because I didn't look that up. And you shouldn't be picking a defense just because I say to pick them in a mock draft in uh, June. So there you go. I want to go with the Vikings because they're the highest ranked team. And the draft is over. So at the end of the draft, we finished with Russell Wilson, Ezekiel Elliott, Marlon Mack, Kenny, Keenan Allen, sorry, Keenan Allen, Calvin Ridley, Travis Kelsey, Carrion Johnson, Will Lutz, and Minnesota Vikings fought out lineup. Remember that defense could be flipped for, with anyone, same with the kicker. And then for our bench, we got Kenyon Drake, Daryl Henderson, Will Fuller, high upside, Robbie Anderson, high upside, and a safe Latavius Murray. So... Uh, what you guys need to remember, like I said, is in an eight-team league, a good quarterback and a good tight end are going to bring you to the championship. That your tight end scoring 10 more points than the other tight end is going to that you're playing against is always going to be strong, more strong than two good running backs against each other. Because guys like, let's see, like if you scroll up here, guys like James Conner and guys like, say, Damian Williams or Marlon Mack are going to be similar in points. Whereas a guy like Travis Kelsey versus Hunter Henry, there's, there's like a 10-point differential, 
differential every week, potentially, on that. Even Travis Kelsey is better than Zach Ertz and George Kittle pretty much every single week. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you click the subscribe at the bottom. Hopefully you click like. Hopefully click the notification button. And I hope you enjoyed. So, leave a comment if you enjoyed. It would really make my day. I hope you guys have had a great Friday. And uh, next week and this week, you may have seen some double uploads. I don't know. Who knows? Adios, mis amigos. Ay, 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 ay.